Good evening, YouTube. It is uh, Wednesday the 20th. So, finally got in the mail today, some stuff I was waiting for for the uh, Porsche, some starting to make it look pretty now that we've gotten all the uh, maintenance items taken care of and making sure it'll pass inspection. So, uh, I got an under hood liner. As you know, on these Porsches, they dry out and rot and start looking like crap. And I'm on the Porsche owner's website, uh, sorry, Facebook page. And I see a lot of people have got these um, hood liners, and I really liked them. So my car is white with um, burgundy interior, but I didn't want anything too splashy for the sticker for the logo inside. So I got uh, gray, but here's what I got. So I got this from Classic Nine Leather Shop. Um, they're on coronavirus mailing, so they're, it was a little bit, it was about, uh, probably 10 days getting here, which isn't too bad, but they've got pretty extensive instructions, how to install it, how to take it off, blah, 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 which is great. And, um, this is for the decal installation. So that's all in the package. So it seems pretty complete. And the decal I got was the, um, Porsche shield. And when I'm done, it will go on this like that. So when you open the hood, it'll be up there. And then in the top of the hood, the front of the hood, they also have that other little section, which from the factory doesn't have anything in it, but um, looks a lot nicer. It'll make it look a lot nicer finished when it's all said and done. There's my help for the night. My buddy Nick, named for Nicky Hayden. He was uh, born and came to us right after... Nicky Hayden won the uh, Superbike Championship in 2006, so we call him Nick Nicholas Hayden Bosworth III. So there's always a lot of debate whether to pull the hood off or try and do it with the hood in. My liner is absolutely falling apart, so we are actually going to take ours completely off. I don't want the crap all over my nice clean motor. So... We will uh, get into this. I'm not going to film all this because you really probably don't care. So, um, there's my engine, which, like I say, is nice and shiny clean right now. I really don't feel like having that uh, this thing falling apart on me. I'm not even going to touch it because every time I touch it, as you can see where I've stuck my fingers in it there, it drops crap all over the place. Just uh, bouncing down the road, it gets stuff in there, and as you guys know, it all ends up down there and it sometimes even smells. So um, I will get back to this after I get the hood off and in my house in the shop downstairs. But this is that upper section I was talking about. Um, I'm going to be very careful to tape this off so that I just put the adhesive in here so that it doesn't goo this up in case somebody wants to take this liner out someday. Um, but I am going to cover this. I just think it looks a lot nicer. So I'll get back to you when I get the hood off. Okay, so there's only four bolts holding the hood on. As you can see there, 13 mil. And you'll see my black marks so I can get the hood lined up back where it was. The only thing worse than lining up a hood is lining up a fender, which is just a miserable experience. So um, since I'm going to be doing this with my 110-pound assistant, that's five foot one, five foot two. Uh, I took lots of precautions, which I would do anyway, but uh, taped off the edges so we don't bugger up any corners. Um, did that on both sides, and then I taped um, these towels on there so they don't move, just in case she slips. And as you're probably aware, there's paint under here, um, which is closed most, covered mostly when you close the hood, but regardless, saves problems. Saves me screaming and jumping and yelling up and down when uh, it does happen. But again, there's only four bolts. Pretty easy to get off, so I'll pull the struts, pull the uh, bolts out, and then we'll have it down in the uh, shop downstairs. Okay, guys, next step, had the hood off, um, pull the plugs, it was pretty easy. I did break one of these darn fittings uh, for the water line. The other one's all right, but they broke the other one. Broke that one. I'm going to try and glue it, maybe, or try and find one tomorrow. We'll see. Um, <laughs> dust. So I'm just pulling all this out of here so I can get rid of the dusty portion of the mess. I'll sweep that with my little trusty broom. Get that taken out. And it looks like this liner is actually going to come out pretty easily. But I'm going to need two hands. 
and uh, oh, actually it's coming out really easy. Um, gonna need two hands, and I will. Uh, I may do a time lapse on it and set the camera sideways so you can see it, but uh, not much enjoyment of this part. So anyway, dirty part now. Hopefully, clean part here shortly. Okay, so I've gotten all the dirty stuff out of here. Now, eventually, I'm going to take a wet and dry back to this, well, shop vac, vacuum out all the stuff because there's a gap under here, I think. Oh, maybe there's not. Maybe there's not. Oh, maybe they're sealed. I didn't think they were sealed, but I guess it is. So anyway, um, so now we're going to hit this with a plastic scraper. Um, see how it comes. I don't want to introduce any products to it until I make sure I get all the loose stuff off because it's going to make it worse. So we'll go through here. Hopefully this won't take long to scrape this off. I got my fingers crossed. So that just pulled off when I was raking it with my hands. So that's 20% of it done. Okay, we're doing a little sampling here to figure out what is the best to get this adhesive off. Just kidding, little adult beverage sampling. Uh, we have WD-40, Simple Grain, and Electronic Contact Cleaner. <laughs> Looks like probably WD-40 is going to work best, but... No, nope, that's not working either. It's reached in the deepest. Uh, actually, Simple Grain may work best. That surprises me. Okay. Huh. Don't discredit that stuff, by God. Huh, okay, that may be the trick. And, oh, I just lied. That's electric. Uh, oh, there's the trick. That is electric contact cleaner. Huh, by golly. So that may make the least mess, the most stink, and the quickest result. So we're going to try that. I want to be a little careful. This stuff's safe on paint. Uh, all the stuff I've got on here is safe on paint, which is my biggest concern. Um, I better not have just scratched that. Nope, I didn't. It's just adhesive. Um, anyway, so we are going to get at this and see how it goes. Just wanted to give you an update of how it was going and what I was using. Okay, this stuff works really, really, really well. The problem is it has a very short window to use it because it evaporates. So, I've been struggling getting the last little bit off, but uh, this is 20 minutes. Uh, I did take a hack out of it here, which really aggravates the shit out of me. Um, trying to scrape something out of there. Anyway, uh, that's my only damage that I did, I think. Oh, one of them right there. Um, anyway, this stuff's got a real short window, so I'm going to try and use some simple green to see if I can break that chemical bond and uh, finish cleaning this thing up. And I'm working up with a piece of paper towel over my blade now, so I don't gouge this thing anymore. Um, but again, just good old-fashioned simple green. And it seems to be knocking the last little bit of this loose. So let's uh, yep, keep on grinding on it. Um, I can see why people get frustrated and don't take this off. Uh, I read somewhere, I think on Renlist, that somebody said they left the uh, uh, the glue to act as a primer. It's like, uh, I don't think it works that way, but uh, particularly with different brand adhesives. But you can see where this hadn't stuck before. There's two big spots, one right there and one right there, which is about 20% of the hood, where it actually wasn't stuck. Uh, that could be for a lot of reasons, but uh, that's the original color of the paint. And we'll give it another half an hour here and keep scrubbing on this and see how we end up. And I'm going to vacuum it and then uh, use some Windex and some um, denatured alcohol to make sure we got everything cleaned up. And we'll go from there. But it's cleaning up. So this is just a regular, actually this is a blade for a, um, which may have been too aggressive, as you can see. Um, anyway, this is a blade for... Uh, interior to take apart interiors so uh, that was all I had in plastic and it may have been an oops anyway uh, putting the blade on or putting the paper towel on it to avoid scratching my hood anymore and I'll prime these before I put it back together okay next round window cleaner 
keep on breaking this down and it keeps on getting gooped up with whatever product I have. This is just all purpose, all surface window cleaner, ammonia free, so we'll see what happens with that. But uh, if that doesn't work, I'll try a little Windex on it. But uh, obviously, we're not in final cleanup yet. I already cleaned this crap up. But uh, let's just, oh, huh. boy, I'll tell you what, every time I hit this with something else, it's like it keeps on cleaning. Huh. Okay. Well, we are down to window cleaner now, and it's uh, finishing up these last little bits. The um, oh, let's keep on going, and I'll update you in a minute. So it's uh, doing a pretty good job on it. Uh, the last round was with Simple Green and my plastic blade and a towel. Uh, I may try that with this. Yeah, I think I may try it with the Windex too. Uh, just a little more grab on it, but. Uh, it's working slowly. It's been about 10 minutes since I last updated this, and I'll keep on rolling. Okay, so I am about done as I'm going to get. Um, I'm going to make another run across this with isopropyl alcohol. It's fairly humid out, so I'm not sure if this moisture is just from all the stuff I put on it or what. But before I do that, I'm going to hit all these edges with um, a little bit of rubbing compound and wax. Just filthy from age. But now I'm going to have this cover in there, or this underhood liner. I really want it to look nice. That's obviously the top of the hood where the latch is. So this is just dust. But uh, anyway, I'm going to clean that up next. And then we're going to get to inserting this liner if it dries out. Okay, I can see this is going to come clean real easy. I just hit that little part right there with just a Meguiar's cleaner wax. I decided I didn't want to buff it. And it's getting late. I'm getting tired. So anyway, I just hit that little piece. You can see the crap that came off it. So I am going to do a before and an after picture here in just a second. Look, it really wasn't that horrid when it's all said and done. I just figured since I had it apart, I was going to clean it, make it look nice since I had the hood off of here. And this is the easiest way to do it. I sure never thought about it while the hood was on it. And now that I can look at it like regular paint, it's hideous. So, pretty cool, the uh, before and after. Holy crap on a stick. I would not have expected that to come out that well with just a couple minutes of rubbing. That's what came off of it. Um, and I'll get this off with a little bit of... Uh, when I get to cleaning this last little bit of the hood, I'll get this off as well. I'm not sure what that sticker was over just a piece of tape. And I'm not sure what was here. There's another one of those over there. And I have no idea what it does. And I don't see anything in here where it's supposed to do anything. But regardless, um, if anybody knows, please let me know in the comments. And secondly, I believe this to be the original paint on this car, uh, at least on most of it. The rear quarter's been touched up once before on both ends. But, um, I don't know why that's peeling like that. And it's the only place it's doing it. And it's kind of bizarre. That's the back of the hood, not the front. So it's not getting rock chips. Um, anyway, I'm curious if anybody's seen that. And you can comment on that below. So I'm going to do another final cleanup and get to adhering this thing. Okay, guys. Now, in case anybody's missed the point of this damn video, it is about getting the adhesive off the original stupid liner and getting it cleaned up so you can prep it to put the new liner in. So, to be completely obvious, I taped up everything because if you ever sprayed this um, uh, spray adhesive around, it gets all over Hell's Half Acre. Now, as you may have noticed, I taped up the import catalytic converter stuff that's um, on there just because if somebody wants to pull this top section off in the future, um, I wanted to be able to get it off and not have that stupid adhesive all over it. Um, but the spray adhesive gets all over the darn place. And uh, you'll be taking it all off again around the perimeter if you don't tape it up. So my friends are laughing at me because I burn blue tape. I buy it in six packs because I use it for work to mark where my guys need to paint or a contractor screwed something up or whatever. And I use it on my cars to protect my edges when I'm buffing my car or whatever but I use a hell out of um, 
blue masking tape and 3M loves me. So anyway, we're going to spray the adhesive here shortly, go prep the back of the uh, paperwork and read the instructions from the uh, supplier, which I will provide a link below because like I say, right now I'm very happy with this. I'm excited to get it on. It's getting late, but I want to get it done. So these guys came highly recommended on Ren Speed and several of the Facebook pages for Porsche's Porsche Owners Club and several others. So uh, you've probably seen them finished and I'll show you this one when I get done, but very um, impressed with uh, the instructions it came with, prepping the, everything from prepping the, uh, the existing area to um, following the instructions and tucking the corners in, blah, blah, blah. Um, so we are going to uh, get this going and uh, I'll take some pictures and or run some video as we're going. After we're all said and done getting the liner in, I'm going to let it breathe overnight because I'm sure there's going to be some amount of um, breathing that's going to need to get this material out here, probably through the material. Uh, but what will go in is the um, Porsche placard right in the middle of the hood, and I'm excited to have it done. Per the instructions, we're doing a test fit. I do knucklehead things sometimes, but this time, not putting uh, rubber gloves on and getting glue all over my hands. So the top part is in place, and I'm getting ready to do the bottom part. But uh, I'm going to wear rubber gloves this time. Can't call me dumb twice. While I had the hood off, I pulled this all apart and just checked the fitting. So our air conditioning is working or holding a charge. It's not working real well, but uh, the gla side glass is showing... Um, some bubbles in it, so I'm sure it's low on Freon, but the compressor is kicking on. But uh, all the stuff's in really good shape. I did wipe it down a little bit and clean it up. You had to take this cover that goes on here, off of here to get to the connectors, to disconnect the light for the, um, for the hood and some other hoses. So anyway, um, while I had this off, I just kinda wiped it down a little bit with some uh, cleaner and a rag, got it cleaned up. But uh, again, 63, 62 and a half thousand miles on this car originally. Good car facts, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, it's cleaned up very, very well. That was just a wipe real quickly with um, blue paper towel and some Windex. So I've been very fortunate with this car. I don't think it spent much, if any, time outside. Um, sure, it certainly wasn't an all-weather car. So we have it on. This is from the bottom of the hood looking up. Oh, and I see in the camera we have a little bubble spot right there. But it came out very well. So I've done a lot of glue stuff. So I fitted this, and then what I did was folded this back halfway and then sprayed per the 3M adhesive on both the hood surface as well as the back of the mat, and then kind of fitted it down um, you'll see in the instructions if you buy this kit there's some air bubbles if you get them in there um, it suggests taking a pin to them and letting them out which I'm gonna to wait to do until after it dries a little bit but uh, phenomenal I cannot wait to finish this up I'm gonna get the um, um, the placard on there so it looks good one place I did have a problem Right here, there's some stuff out from underneath the hood. The hood's not bent, but it will not go underneath this for whatever reason. Um, I'm going to trim that up or touch it up with some black paint so it doesn't stand out. But uh, that's the only place I had a problem. It just starts right in this corner, and the other side doesn't do it. I don't understand it. You can actually fit your finger underneath there, and then you come along here, finger underneath, and all of a sudden, there's something in that gap, and I don't know what it is. It's like body... Um, what they call it, that bonding stuff. But, uh, nope, short of that, it looks fantabulous. I got one little bubble right, two little bubbles right there. Actually, it might be th three bubbles right there. Um, but I'm going to roll it here in a minute. Uh, this stuff just says it takes about 15 to 20 minutes to dry, so I'm going to sit here and rub on this to get those spots to go away. And uh, I will get the placard on there and get this thing going. I am very excited. It's pretty cool. And after waxing the uh, perimeter of the hood, 
uh, as I did earlier in this video. It came out fantabulous. So I hope this video isn't dragging along too much. I don't know how long it's going to be yet, and hopefully I don't have to cut it up too much because I hate editing. But uh, I'll get the placard on, get one more picture, get it on the car, and we'll be done. Well, we're winding this thing down. So per the instructions, you peel the backer sheet off and get this all laid out. And then find the centers horizontally and vertically, which I did, and I actually raised it up about uh, half an inch because if you're looking at the hood in an angle, it's going to look like it's lower. So I raised it up half an inch just for the perspective view so it's um, at the correct height. So don't get confused by my tape and think it looks off center. This is my edge line here through here to the center and here through here side to side. Um, and I measured it pretty carefully. Like I said, I raised it a half an inch that way. Um, just from a perspective standpoint, when you're looking in the hood, it looks doesn't look like it's way down in there. So <clears throat> it says to let it dry for a few minutes. I've squeegeed it, squeegeed it, squeegeed it. I think um, we're all good. We don't have any bubbles. And it says wait a few minutes. And uh, then peel it back parallel. So it's if you've ever done vinyl stickers on a car before, um, it's, uh, you're probably familiar with it. Don't have any air bubbles in there, thank goodness. Um, I'm very happy with the way that looks. I'm really excited about this silver. Uh, it doesn't jump out at you, but I think it's going to look good with my, um, white car. So, about finished this up. Hope this video, as I said a minute ago, doesn't turn into a monster. Um, but, uh, very excited with the way everything looks. I will show you about the only thing I can do one-handed on this project. And if you, again, if you ever put on vinyl stickers, you know this, but don't pull it up. Pull it parallel to the surface uh, so that it doesn't grab an edge. You can see it got a little one. No, it's just water. Um, anyway, you got to kind of do it slowly at an angle. And we got one there. So we got the extra T there. Let's see what happens. Come on, don't fight me. Maybe we'll hit it again with a rag here in a minute. Those little letters are the only ones that are a problem. We got past the tail. And there we go. We have a Porsche Crest on our uh, see, get these pushed back down there and we'll go over it in a minute per the instructions with a rag to make sure it's dry and settled down but I'll get this tape off here so you can see it the next video or the next part of this video is going to be on the car because I'm sure you guys are tired of this video but hopefully you find it informative and I can tell you, anybody who is debating about doing this, do not do it on the car. Not worth the aggravation. And four bolts, a couple connectors and hoses, and you're out of that thing. So, there you go. That is our finished hood liner. I am really, 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 really excited. So, the uh, next picture will it be, we'll, we'll have it on the car. And... Um, all done. Pretty exciting. I hope you like it. If you've been thinking about doing this, I would encourage you to go ahead and do it. It hasn't been that difficult, and um, I'm excited about how it looks. I think it really does dress up the engine compartment of these beautiful cars. So, finish it up, put the hood on, show you one more picture, and I am out of here on this video that I hope you found productive. Please like, subscribe, comment, uh, if you see something that you thought I should do differently, please don't hesitate to say so. My uh, ego isn't that soft that I can't take a little criticism. Uh, but hopefully you find this all helpful. I say the only thing I really didn't follow the instructions on is I folded, being doing it by myself and adhered to several things in my life. I pre-inserted this, made sure it fit, folded back the big half first. It's wider at the... Uh, base end of the hood than it is at the other end. So I folded that part back first, um, put the adhesive on both the bonnet and on the 
uh, material, put it down, let it sit for about three minutes, and then peel the other side back, and then do the same thing, sprayed it, put it on. Uh, on the top part, I just dropped it in there. Uh, it wasn't that big, as you can see, my, I have about a nine inch span, so it's probably 20 inches across there. That was a little bit easy. It's only six inches there, so. Um, anyway, don't uh, get intimidated by this, and the guys uh, that we got this from, I'll put the link on there in the bottom, but uh, I am very impressed. I hope you like it, and I encourage you to uh, give it a try. So my wife and I will attempt putting the hood back on. I will show you about the only thing I can do one-handed on this project. And if you, again, if you ever put on vinyl stickers, you know this, but don't pull it up. Pull it parallel to the surface uh, so that it doesn't grab an edge. You can see it got a little, no, it's just water. Um, anyway, you got to kind of do it slowly at an angle. And we got one there. So we got the extra T there. Let's see what happens. Come on, don't fight me. We'll hit it again with a rag here in a minute. Those little letters are the only ones that are a problem. We got past the tail. And there we go. We have a Porsche Crest on our the instructions with a rag to make sure it's dry and settled down but I'll get this tape off here so you can see it the next video or the next part of this video is going to be on the car because I'm sure you guys are tired of this video but hopefully you find it informative and I can tell you anybody who is debating about doing this do not do it on the car not worth the aggravation and four bolts a couple connectors and hoses and your out of that thing so there you go that is our finished hood liner i am really 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 excited so the uh next picture will it be will it will have it on the car and um all done pretty exciting i hope you like it if you've been thinking about doing this i would encourage you to go ahead and do it it hasn't been that difficult and um I'm excited about how it looks. I think it really does dress up the engine compartment of these beautiful cars. So, finish it up, put the hood on, show you one more picture, and I am out of here on this video that I hope you found productive. Please like, subscribe, comment. Uh, if you see something that you thought I should do differently, please don't hesitate to say so. My uh, ego isn't that soft that I can't take a little criticism. Uh, but hopefully you find this all helpful. I so say the only thing I really didn't follow the instructions on is I folded being doing it by myself and adhered to several things in my life. I it's pre-inserted this, made sure it fit, folded back the big half first. It's wider at the uh, base end of the hood than it is at the other end, so I folded that part back first, um, put the adhesive on both the bonnet and on the uh, material put it down let it sit for about three minutes and then peel the other side back and then do the same thing sprayed it put it on uh, on the top part I just dropped it in there uh, it wasn't that big as you can see my I have about a nine inch span so it's probably 20 inches across there that was a little bit easy it's only six inches there so um, anyway don't uh, get intimidated by this, and the guys uh, that we got this from, I'll put the link on there in the bottom, but uh, I am very impressed. I hope you like it, and I encourage you to uh, give it a try. Five hours and 15 minutes later, and probably about 15 minutes worth of video, there is the finished product. To say that I am happy would be a gross understatement. Um, I'm glad I did put the top in here. I said I did tape up and you saw in the video over the in case somebody wanted it off there eventually in the future I covered up the factory sticker that was under there so it wouldn't get uh, screwed up with the 
um, with this adhesive and stuff that's in there. There is that problem area I was telling you about. It's not really noticeable under here, but I'm going to do a little trimming on that just to make it look even. Um, but the thing just came out perfect. And I may not be in love with it so much other than the other one was so ratty, but that greatly improved the car. I spent a lot of time cleaning it and having the Porsche Crest shield on there. Uh, really looks cool. Uh, matches with the silver on the motor. Uh, I've got the motor pretty genuinely cleaned up. I'm going to do a little more cleanup on some of this stuff. But uh, overall, it's pretty good. I took a little wire brush to some of this anodized or whatever you want to call it stuff to get it cleaned up. But um, very happy with the car. I'm going to try... Um, I don't know what I'm going to try on this. I'm going to try something to get it to brighten up a little bit. It's not bad, but there's some little blemishes in here that I haven't put much effort into, but I will. But um, I may try and find another one of those tubes. I see a fair few of them on the internet for sale. That one's boogered up. The other one is actually okay. But uh, I am very happy with that. And I got that one hose over there that I broke um, glued back together. Uh, we'll see if it holds, but uh, very happy with that. Uh, hope this, when I get done editing it, doesn't end up too long, but uh, please, again, as I said, like, subscribe, like, share this video, and uh, all the best to all the Porsche 928 owners. Very happy with this car. As a side note, uh, I bought it to flip. I've actually put a price on it. Somebody has some interest in it. Um, so I may flip it. Haven't decided yet. Uh, if I get my full price, I'll flip it. Fifteen thousand five hundred. If I don't, then I'm gonna keep it because as cheap as that is, um, I enjoy driving it. I can't drive that out every day like I like to. Um, and that is not set for the street. So. Um, Anyway, this will be a fun car to keep. I drive back and forth to Missouri and Central Illinois quite a bit. And um, it would be a fun car to have. Um, so, anyway, I hope everybody enjoyed this video. And uh, please feel free to comment below.